How's it going? I'm Ryan. Today, I did not take any trades. Uh, I'm going to review the price action on SPY and go over kind of my new uh, rule set or approach to the trades I will be taking. Um, I'm in the process of switching over to futures, so kind of taking liquidity out of my trading account and uh, pulling that into the brokerage that I'll be trading futures on. I'll speak more to that later once I actually do make that switch. Uh, but for now, We'll take a look at SPY, a few things I was watching on SPY. The pre-market high, we had yesterday's high, um, yesterday's low, and then some of these zones I was watching, these zones are based off of the hour or the 30 minute chart. Uh, I kind of find them maybe on the hourly chart and then refine those zones off the 30 minute. We have the all time high around 518 to 518.25. Next zone would be this 516.7 or to you know 5. 15.9 or so pre-market pre high was around four or five fourteen point eight uh, this next zone from five fourteen point two to five fourteen um and then that high of yesterday around five twelve so coming into the day um we had a gap up from yesterday's high so indicating a bullish momentum on daily time frame, we're in an uptrend. Um, from the past day, you know, we were in an uptrend. Overnight uptrend, opening uh, above previous day's high. So all things kind of indicating to an uptrend. Therefore, uh, this is kind of rule one in my new trading rule set is that trade with the trend. If we're in an uptrend, the price is moving up. Don't look for shorts. Only look for long opportunities. Uh, I'm going to throw on the exponential moving average here because this is also part of how I trade. Um, additionally, I'm using this EMA, this 9 EMA on the 5 minute time frame specifically to find opportunities to go long or to go short. Um, so another rule is not taking calls if we're below the 9 EMA and not taking shorts if we're above it. So only short it if we're below only grab calls if we're above so as we open up um initially you know we're we're it's a gap up situation i'm thinking this upward trend is going to continue i'm not looking for puts we do get below that 9 ema come down and text text this zone around 511 that i have uh form that low a day pretty nice reversal um, but i'm not looking for longs at this point from here, we start breaking to the upside. Once we reclaim uh, yesterday's high a day and that 9 EMA, I'm now interested in calls again. Um, the one trade that I was kind of watching and just, I was busy doing something. I think I was looking at, at futures and I just completely missed it was this. From the pre-market high to the high a day, we had a bit of a resistance. We reclaimed the 9 EMA. Um, broke above that, retested on the five minute along with that 513 hole level, held both uh, and got continuation up from there. From the next five minute candle printed a dollar move. Uh, so the contract I was watching moved about 50% on this single candle right up into this next zone that I have around 514. Um, so it would have been an entry on this retest, stop below that and uh, take profit at this zone didn't get into this trade I didn't take any trades but this is the one that uh, I kind of missed out on from there however uh, we continued to trend up and didn't get a pullback until later in the day um, so we can also take a look at some of the other trades that would have fit my system in terms of what I'm looking for now in an uptrending day I would be looking for long positions um, I suppose I might make some some exceptions in terms of only you know looking for longs i i could allow myself to take a short position uh if we start to break the low uh or the higher high higher low structure of an uptrend um so here you see that we're making higher highs and higher lows um we form kind of this base around like 515.5 or so fail to create a higher high and then once we break this um, higher low we have reversed right this this uptrend has now reversed and we're in a temporary downtrend so um, we're below that 9 EMA we've formed a lower low 
you know, the retest of this zone after we form a lower low could have been a valid trade because we we're retesting the zone, retesting the EMA. Um, so taking puts here with a target for that pre-market high, you know, could have been a, a very valid play that would have worked out pretty well. Uh, next target would have been this zone down here. So um, I think I'll allow myself to take uh, a put or a call. Um, but if we're making higher highs, higher lows, only looking for calls, if we start to break that and head down, then we can switch that sentiment, especially if we get below that 9 EMA. So um, I think this like, puts in here would have been a valid trade as well, according to my system. Um, from there, the only other trade that I really see is this right here. Um, we hold this zone around 514, where we had resistance earlier, right? And then we form this higher low on the overall time frame. If we're looking at like daily price action, we have this higher high, we have this higher low kind of at the previous uh, high a day. We hold that, we flip the 9 EMA as well, reclaim that pre-market high, retest it, hold it. This would have been a good entry to go long up to this next zone. Um, and then, you know, you could hold runners for high a day potentially. Um, but yeah, so this, this would have been a valid trade as well to grab calls here because it's overall with the trend of the day. Um, it's above the 9 EMA. It's uh, broken above and retesting an important level, that pre-market high. Uh, so ultimately that's kind of my trading philosophy. And I will plan on making a video, especially once I start trading uh, according to this and really start dialing it in. But it's more so uh, not that I'm doing anything too drastically different, just allowing uh, more consistency or more strict trades uh, by following a rule set. So I'm watching levels, I'm watching the zones I have and levels such as previous days high, uh, pre-market high, pre-market low, previous day low. I'm watching for a break and retest. Um, I don't trade breakouts. I want to see a break and a retest and a hold of those levels. Um, and in accordance with trading the overall trend and then uh, in addition to being above or below that 9 EMA, whether we're trending up or trending down. Like I said, I'll make a more comprehensive video once I really start to dial things in, but that's the way it's looking. Uh, I went back over the weekend, did some back testing, uh, and just found that if I kind of put all these things together, um, the, the chance of these trades working out increases greatly and will avoid, uh, you know, trading against the trend or um, taking a lower probability setup. So that's a review of SPY. I was watching mostly SPY today, not so much QQQ. Um, and yeah, those are the trades I was watch. Uh, according to my plan, you know, maybe three trades in total that would have been valid where we could take this here, you know, break of resistance and retest and hold, continuation, um, we have that bullish momentum. You see these big green candles on increasing volume, lower volume on that pullback. So that's trading with the trend. We're above that 9 EMA. Everything looks good there. Um, this maybe would be a little less likely, uh, but you do see a bit of a trend flip where we start to form lower lows and lower, uh, excuse me, lower highs and lower lows. And we get a retest of a broken zone and that EMA. That's a very clear uh, stop. You could put a stop, you know, somewhere up above that. Give yourself, you know, 10 cents or 10%, whatever you want to risk on that trade. Um, target that next important level at pre-market high and then the zone below if you have runners. So that could have been a valid trade. And then this could have been a valid trade as well where we flip that 90 MA. We retain that overall bullish structure on the, on the higher time frame. Break and retest the pre-market high. Um, and get continuation up to that next level. So it's kind of what I'm looking at, what I'm thinking. Didn't take any trades today. This is the one that I missed. Um, all these kind of happened later in the day. I got off uh, sometime around here, around 8.50 or so. Once we just continued to break new highs and not get a pullback, um, you know, I was, I was wanting to see a pullback to this pre-market high. But when we got it here, I wouldn't have taken it because we're below that 90 May um, and we have that kind of trend shift. So um, just mostly watching, I'm gonna be patient and uh, try to hone in and really refine this strategy. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Um, 
I just want to understand myself, you know, when I would enter, exit trades, what I'm looking for, watch those play out in real time and see. Um, so that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. I do trade live Monday through Friday. This week will be a bit of a short week. I'm traveling, uh, so I probably will not be trading Thursday, Friday. Um, or even, I might not even be here tomorrow, honestly. I'm leaving tomorrow. So this might be the only video I do this whole week. Regardless, I'll be back next week. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Peace.